I'm Mert Straffer back again at the So You Think You Can Dance live tour, this time for season 12, here with Yorelis and Jim. Jim, how's the tour been going? Oh, it's been going amazing. Um, it's a really special tour. Um, we're in the last leg, and we have about five shows left. It's been a long process, and it's kind of sad that it's coming to an end. Yorelis, <laughs> I'm a big fan. I'm a huge fan. Like, y you were totally my favorite on the show. Um, so, so tell me, like, how has the tour been for you, and have you already started thinking about what's next? Um, the tour's been amazing. If it hadn't been for this tour, I don't think I would have visited more than half of the places we've been. So I'm really thankful I was able to visit, like, Canada. I don't know when I would find myself in Canada if it wasn't for this tour. Um, as far as my plans after the tour, I'm going to go back to L.A. and continue auditioning for other dance gigs and anything from commercials, more tours with artists this time, and just hopefully keep on going in this industry. Now, you guys got to dance together, I believe, in the top 14, right? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about that dance? Oh, that was so special. Um, it was a piece with Sonia Taya. Um, it was a jazz duet. Um, and actually, it was funny because I got injured that week, so it was kind of a stressful... Oh, so maybe situation. that's why you're not sitting right beside her. Maybe yeah. she's a bad luck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. No, never. Um, but yeah, it was a very um, cohesive, and it, we worked really well together, and it, it, it's one of my favorite pieces on tour, actually. You're Alice? Oh, it's my favorite piece that I did on the show, my favorite piece on tour. Um, you wouldn't think that a hip-hop dancer and a ballet dancer would like get like go together so well but we did and it was crazy and it just worked it was so it wasn't easy because it's a competition but it was easy to work with him like it just made sense is it the power of Sonia yes she has the power to really just like take you out of the competition and really calm your spirit down and just take you to a real organic place. Tell me a little bit more about that, Jim. Like every time I see Sonia, like her routines are always like all these like crazy, you know, like crazy moves and stuff. What is she like in rehearsal? I feel like she's a taskmaster. She is a taskmaster. Um, she's also very spiritual and very positive. And she's, um, at the end of the day, your biggest cheerleader. Mm -hmm. She wants you to succeed. And she um, wants, she pushes you to the max and to your extreme potential. And you leave feeling like very accomplished. You know, you also got to dance with Alex. What was that like? Oh, that was incredible. That was like a goal of mine since like the show. Um, and that was another situation that was just so like um, special and cohesive and worked so well together. And um, it was like really magical working with Travis as well. Yorelis, like, I, tell me a little bit more about, like, the coaches. You know, like, we only saw them, you know, they would do those little, like, you know, Travis and Twitch would do those funny things before every commercial. But, like, honestly, like, what did they do? I want to know, like, what they told you. Did they give you tips? Like, how involved were they behind the scenes? They were really involved behind the scenes. Like, Twitch would email us and be like, how are you guys feeling? How's your spirit? Um, he said that week three, he emailed us. He was like, how's week three for you guys? Because when I was on the show week three, I broke down. And I was like, just venting to him like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I'm just so stressed. So I couldn't imagine how the other seasons did it without a coach because they were just such a big influence. And, and Jim, in terms of like, you know, I felt like prior to season 12, every time I would watch the show, it would always come down to like one street dancer and one stage dancer. Uh -huh. So what was it like sort of, you know, knowing that up front, like that's what this season is. We're not going to make any bones about it. It kind of all put um, us to the test and we're all on our A game, I think, because the, um, the roles and the, um, the whole format of the show is different. We kind of all... Um, kind of stepped it up a notch <laughs> for sure and and Yorelis, was it nice sort of like learning from somebody like Jim who has all this like classical training and at the same time sort of like teaching a little bit of like the street dancing background because I'm I, you know Jim I, I see you you're a nice enough guy but I cannot see you like break dancing or crumping actually Jim crumps a little bit and he's actually really good he's like playing around but he's really good nice. um it was really nice learning from all the stage dancers and even the street dancers because they have different styles too and I was able to learn from all of them. And, and Jim, you know, uh, there are rumors that the show is coming back. You know, we're all yes. fingers crossed, right, for season 13. <coughs> um, if somebody wants to audition uh, for season 13, can you give me any tips? Um, stay true to yourself as a dancer and an artist and know who you are coming onto the show. And um, just know that you're special in your own way and you bring something different to the table. And yeah, for sure. Amazing. Yorelis, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks Jim, so much. thank you so much.